hello guys and welcome back to the channel um, today I'll be just dividing and repotting my newest carnivorous plant because why not so this is the plant that I got a little bit ago as you can see it's nice and lush because there's a whole bunch of plants in there there's some nice traps it's really got everything even the tag so yeah little pot of horrors venus fly trap incredibility anyway um Let's get into the video. So, I have this bowl because it is more helpful when you force some distilled water into here. Just like that. And then you'll take your potting, whatever you're going to repot it with. Uh, in this case, sphagnum moss. And you would set it in there. And Sorry guys, the video turned off. So, um, one way to get these out of here is to turn it upside down, fingers around the base of the plant, like this and just squeeze it and then it will come out so I'm gonna use this pot for the main plant and I will start to break this up here or should I say all the plants um, let's move the camera up this so when you are repotting a venus flytrap it's always important to be very gentle with their root system because the venus flytrap has a very delicate root system so you carefully just want to brush off all of the soil And as you can see, it was actually just clumped up in some peat moss. And you do not have to instantly repot a carnivorous plant once you get it. It can actually stay in there for a long time. However, I just want to divide this while it's still in winter and get some fresh sphagnum on. Okay, so. You can actually see the rhizomes. Sorry, there is a lawnmower in the background. I don't know how loud that is to you. There was quite a lot of plants in here. Okay, so this is a good sign. All those little right roots, that is new growth. These black roots are just older roots, but you can actually still leave them on there because they'll do the plant some help repotting or rerooting later. And those are not always old roots, they are current roots. Too. So the rhizomes you will just pull apart like this. Here is a baby plant. It's a little one. Here's the main plant, as you can tell. There it is. 
two medium sized plants actually another little plant and then two medium sized plants okay so we have a decent amount of plants here which is pretty good because who doesn't love a good amount of Venus flytraps? And now what you want to do is you want to take your bowl of um, potting material. I use sphagnum moss because I love it and I'm, I like the results of it a lot more. I've tried peat moss before. I just, it wasn't so successful for me or my brothers. or anything like that. So let's start laying out the pots. The miniature little pots here. Actually, I think that this big pot here, we could put this plant in because I think it needs a little rooting space. Now surely I'm filling with soil. I'm just grabbing some arrangement ideas. So this one could hold a medium plant. Okay, so let's start filling it all up with the sphagnum moss. So like I said, you wanna be careful with them. And you wanna take your moist potting material, put it into the pot like this. Let's move this back a bit. Some of the water is coming out of the little drainage holes on the bottom. Don't want it to short out my computer or camera. So, I am just gonna wrap it up in this sphagnum around the rhizome, set it in there. Actually, gonna need a little bit more sphagnum moss to soak because we're already running low on our first plant, and that is never good. So, basically, what you want to do is you just take your plant, wrap it up in the sphagnum moss. Put it in the pot. And get it all situated. And if that is not coming along successfully, like what's happening to me, you could set the pot down like this with the soil on one side like this. Lay the plant in like this. and then set it on top. Both of these ways I find effective on getting the plant in your pot cozy and centered if you like. So I'm actually gonna cut the video and come back when all the plants are potted up. So, see you in a few seconds. All right guys, um, so I finished the work. 
and they all look pretty good. So I'm gonna go from the small plants to the big plants and kind of work our way up here. So here are the two baby plants, nicely potted. I think that they will be happy next year when they get to start catching some insects. So let's set that there. The next one is one of the medium plants. Um, once again, nicely done. Set it there too. Now we're starting to get to the big ones. So here was one of the larger medium plants. Nicely potted. Let's get a little look at some of those traps there. Yep. And now for the final, or the biggest plant. The main plant, which is nicely potted, looks great. Good traps. And there we go. Um, yeah, I hope that was a little helpful. If you are planning to repot or divide a carnivorous plant, that was, I don't know how long this video is, but yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. And see you in the next video.